about five seconds until we go live. And we are live. Hello again. It's the first time you're seeing me today, and uh, hopefully you are still laughing from the little joke joke Carl had as that at the end of his talk. <laughs> Hi, Carl. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. How are you doing? <laughs> Uh, I'm doing pretty fine, but I am currently struggling to make my window slightly larger because what am I doing? Okay, okay, I think people can see me relatively well right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I am doing well, and thank you for the joke. It feels like when I see people wearing suits during a BBB presentation, oh, sorry, not a BBB presentation, an Emacs Conf presentation, uh, I feel like it's a reply to my own style, and I feel attacked, <laughs> but I will just yeah. confirm, uh, how do I do this without making too much of a fall? I will lower my standing desk, <laughs> and you can see that I am actually wearing the trousers. So yes, I am wearing socks and sandals because it's really cold right now and it's very comfortable as well. Do not ask me on this. But I am technically more dressed than you are. <laughs> well, this was a lederhose, actually a quite nice lederhose, which you wear uh, for a specific occasions. So it's not considered as something uh, casual. <laughs> no, definitely, but it is looking a little bit odd to my uh, French. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, especially the combination. Yes, you're right. <laughs> right. We, we could be talking about hours for this, but I, I, I suppose people are not actually here to hear us talk about this, but about your talk. Uh, I'm not going to make the affront of asking you if you've got the pad open, considering that you have been managing the pad and helping us manage the pad for, what, three years now or something? Uh, yeah, but this year actually it's it's doing great without my help. So um, yeah, there are actually there are already two answers. <laughs> Somebody was nice enough to copy my answers from the IRC to here. Can you filter out blocked tasks on stuff like your agenda on specific agenda view when you want to know what you can do next? Ooh, that's a tricky question. Um, Filter out block tasks. Oh, the block tasks. Block tasks are never shown on the agenda by default. So uh, whenever there is uh, no uh, scheduled um, 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 timestamp attached to a heading, it's not visible on my agenda. And if you if you use the dependencies, as I described it in the demo, you will see that uh, the scheduled timestamp or date stamp is only added when the previous one is marked as done or um, cancelled. So therefore, uh, blocked tasks are never shown on the agenda by default if you use it in this in in that way. Uh, the functionality seems quite nice, but the markup seems pretty heavy in the uh, property drawers. Do you ever have any issues having so much meta level information? Now, as long as I don't have to type it manually, uh, I don't see any issue at all uh, so far. Uh, because I tend to have very rather large org mode files in any, any way. Uh, so, um, so far I haven't thought of, oh my gosh, this is so bloated. I need to simplify it. Uh, not yet. Okay. Looking for the IRC, if there is something going on. Uh, but, um, or if not, we'll be able to, because this is the, the showdown people were waiting. Two years ago, you wrote an article about Algrom not being good, and I'm being polite. <laughs> and we need to fight this out right now. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, actually, I, I do th I think that uh, Zettelkasten methods are uh, interesting, but so far I haven't um, seen much use in my personal use. I, but I can imagine that, for example, if you're working on a PhD thesis or you, you're studying in some research field and so forth, it's quite handy. Um, the only thing um, my concept so far doesn't have what the usual Zettelkasten methods do provide is this uh, visual uh, navigation method, which I would not use anyway. So I don't see any, any purpose at all for Zettelkasten methods for my personal use cases. 
as long as I don't think that uh, this visual navigation uh, would be very handy in my case. I'm very happy with those di uh, bidirectional uh, links because they get me from A to B and I can connect ideas and, and headings and tasks and whatnot. Uh, so this is basically the most important part of uh, uh, Zettelkasten method from my uh, perspective. And this is what uh, this, these uh, bidirectional links and dependencies provide for me in my personal setup. Yeah, and you know, I, I was taking a jab at it because even you, with your own article, you were saying how, you know, it's a, it's a, a, a title to grab attention, but actually you had a lot of things. Yeah. A lot of things it, it was clickbait. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to say the word, you know, I'm trying to be like, I didn't read the actual title that you uh, titled the article. But uh, yeah, I, I think you were also interested uh, in what we were discussing yesterday. I can't remember which talk because we had a number of org talks. But when I was discussing in one of the Q&A, the concept of a, a slip box for multiple peoples, and you seem to be interested in this topic as well. Yes. Um, yeah, uh, my, my, my personal um, interest is in personal information management, but collaborative information management is, of course, a very related and important part. And I have some background uh, by writing a PhD thesis on organizing information and files and, and whatnot. And therefore, I'm, I'm interested in, in the, the ideas how to make a, a collaborative Zettelkasten, let's say, um, something that might actually work uh, within a work group or even larger. Uh, there are some um, things that, that overlap between personal information management and collaborative. Uh, for example, the, um, uh, you, you, I'm sure you know the vocabulary problem where uh, people do have um, uh, different mental um, models uh, of, of the same stuff. So therefore, finding one common phrase or one common word is a difficult task to do. And you get yeah. these kind of troubles uh, all over the place if you, if you go into that direction. Yeah, this is why I think, you know, just like a lot of so software solution you know they need to be backed up by strong methodology on the side it feels like it's always a balance when you have the tools that are helping you enable something like emacs like org like zellcasten you know uh, zellcasten.el or grome or any kind of the i don't want to say org Rome clone it's like you know it's like dark souls when every, everything becomes a dark souls clone it's not the point we have um Zettelkasten modes in Emacs that allow you to do this note-taking. So that's the tools. And then you have the methods on the other end, which are about how do you use those tools to work with multiple people? We're only talking about collective step box here. And yeah, there is obviously the vocabulary discussion that we've, uh, uh, the point that Carl just mentioned. Uh, there are some solutions methodologically, like you can have a taxonomy of all the words you're using. If you have a list of patterns, for instance, it's good to, fix the language within a file so that you can have, you know, something that people can read. It, it's kind of like, um, you know, you have dictionaries, obviously, but it reminds me of the uh, some sp very specific dictionaries, like the hacker dictionary, when you have a lot of entries where people can learn the lingo or how to use the internet, how to chat on IRC or stuff like this. It feels like a group sleep box is always going to be oriented towards solving a particular project, I think. And I think taxonomy and vocabulary would be very important to have. Anyway, I don't want to take too much. Uh, you know, this is a very interesting topic. Obviously, you wrote a PhD on it, and I wrote software on it, and you've wrote software on it as well. But we should probably, uh, well, talk about this later, at least. Yeah, but maybe sure. come up with something to present in a year or so. <laughs> OK. Uh, so uh, somebody wrote the BBB is not open yet. I don't know if it, uh, it's on purpose or not. Uh, I'll do this now. You'll, you'll see me whisper. You'll see very something very fancy. Look at me. I'm going to press the button. You're going to see something appear at the bottom to talk to production. This is the thing that I've developed since yesterday. It was amazing, wasn't it? This was technology right there. So yes, the <laughs> BBB will be open in about 30 seconds to one minute. And people, as it's the first one of the day, so I'll be a little, I'll do the reminder. Uh, in order to join us in a room right now where I'm talking with Carl, you will need to go to the talk page. So you can find all the talks on emacsconf 
org slash 2022 slash talks, then you find the talk by Carl Voigt. You can look for his name. You click on the link over there. And at the top, you will have a link to the BBB room in which we are currently. Also, if you're on IRC, you will just have gotten a notification about joining the room. So uh, in the meantime, Carl, uh, how about we answer some of the new questions that you have on the pad whilst people get warmed up? Sure. Uh, so the next one, does this change how you use to do keywords next to do blocked, avoiding some or starting to use others? Uh, no, I don't see any connection. And uh, my, uh, my keywords are uh, next, oops, next started. Um, waiting um, done cancelled that's basically it if you're interested but my configuration is online anyway i can paste the, the link later and yes i can paste the link to my thesis as well uh, as uh, ask on the irc um so uh, Carl, actually, if you don't mind i do have a quick question because i'm gonna forget otherwise we have someone in isc asking you could you is your uh, is your phd published i mean not your phd but your thesis yes published. yes yes of course everything of my phd is public uh, including the actual research work that the hard uh, figures of the user experiments and the derived functions everything of course the later one actually should be also in org mode so a 100% reproducible, uh, which was very important to me. Would you have a, a link? So maybe not right now, but in the pad, could you include a link later on to? Yeah, yeah. I, I've already wrote down a question uh, for that on my own so that I don't forget to answer it afterwards. OK, amazing. Thank you. You can continue with the questions. We also have people joining on. I see microphones now in some of the people joining on BBB, so I'm excited. I'm getting ready for your questions. But in the meantime, Carl, feel free to go. Uh, just give yeah, you a up. I'm, I'm answering all the questions in the pad anyway. So if somebody is uh, quite, uh, asking something in the BBB, I'm, I'm open to it. Right. There is just one thing. I one other thing I need to say. We need to move with the next talk in about eight minutes. So, Carl, yeah. if you could maybe uh, not rush, but answer fairly quickly the last questions on the pad, then we can move on to live Q and A inside BDB. Sure. Uh, Orgbrain has stuff like parent links and directional links, sibling links, and if Orgrom else had nothing else interesting, what about like the previous stuff? I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure what the preview stuff was either. So we're previously uh, referring to side window, where it's not only the linked heading is, so not only the link is shown, but actually some heading title and uh, like short contents behind, below it. So that's very handy when you are looking like, or is it relevant, is this backing relevant or is it not, or it's not relevant? Uh, to me, it's not relevant at the moment. Um, I don't have the requirement for um, specific uh, link types or directions. I yeah. like how Cal, you feel obligated to write and speak at the same time. Like you, you can let go <laughs> of your responsibility as the pad. We have another volunteer helping you with the pad right now, so don't worry oh, about perfect. it. Perfect. So, do do you find that the links are fragile, hard to maintain? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, the only thing uh, that I have to uh, remark here is probably that sometimes I renamed the links when the heading actually um, uh, was renamed afterward and the link name isn't uh, reflecting the actual heading, then I do a quick uh, search and replace all over my org mode files. But that's basically it. So no, I, I, I really love the, the bidirectional and unidirectional links. Uh, and it doesn't uh, um, give me any burden to to maintain them. So would it be of interest to like make auto description for links in org? What? So, oh, like, sorry, I, sorry, sorry. I, I was not in credit. So like you have an ID, you don't have any description, but then description is generated automatically. Uh, my IDs uh, are auto-generated and they are um, generated from the heading title. So usually my links uh, are pretty much self-explanatory. 
Oh, so what you're referring to is that you have a link, then you rename the linked heading, and then you change yeah. the link ID. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's heading. true. Links are not uh, synchronized with their headings once they are generated, but uh, usually a, a heading is not um, a heading title is not changed that often by me. So this is um, not a really important problem in my use cases. Okay. okay. Uh, PhD thesis and link later. Why not org IDs, UUIDs for IDs and the preference a human readable ones and not the... Yeah, I, I, I hate UUIDs because they tell me nothing at all. So I want to get uh, an idea to what I'm linking to. Uh, therefore, I've got rid of all UUIDs in my setup. And um, I prefer um, something that, that gives me as a user an idea of what's happening when I open up this link. All get users and, and all the other screen that we had. So I, I got confused. Thank you for confirming. Oh, sorry. Am I, am I, have you been able to hear me? Is it, is it the first odds mic of the conference? Wow, this is amazing. Uh, <laughs> I was mispressing the button, I think. Uh, I apologize humbly, deeply, and sincerely about the hot mic. Can't wait no problem. <laughs> Uh, do you have uh, or use anything for what links here to this heading in a more occur grep style buffer and auto? No, not yet. Uh, I'm not um, using that, but I may be able to what links to here by looking for the ID. So uh, all the heading ID start with a date stamp and then a um, a string which is made up from the uh, heading title. So if I want to see what what links to this specific heading without having backlinks, I usually uh, use org occur uh, within the, the buffer and get the result right away. All right, uh, I'm just going to give you, uh, I have the bad role here. I have to be the man with the watch telling you that we have about three minutes left in this talk. And afterwards, we'll need to move on to the next one. So you have about two minutes. Carl, I didn't ask you if you had anything else to add over your talk. I wish we had more time to you know, discuss because it's a very <laughs> interesting topic. But sadly, we will have to get going with the next talk in two minutes. So the next sure. two minutes are you. I continue asking, uh, answering questions on the pad, of course, and uh, you'll see me around on the IRC. I'm not sure if I called the last, very last thing you said. Could you repeat it, please? Uh, I'm still around in IRC. I will answer all the questions on the pad even after uh, we, we continue. Um, and uh, everybody who wants to get in touch and talk about this stuff uh, m may find me on the internet. <laughs> Sure. There, there is still the nebulous concept. Every Max comes, I say, oh, we should have uh, a meeting room for maintainer or for people well invested into org and Melpa stuff and package writing. Because it feels like if we have so many ideas, and so far, the only person who's been able to implement every single idea they have is Alpha Papa, because I have no idea how they do it. But so many, <laughs> so many packages. Is That's actually a group of people, I think. <laughs> yes, uh, have we ever seen, you know, if we need to check if Alpha Plata appeared in two different rooms at the same time. I need to confirm this for my own sanity. Um, but yeah, uh, barring Adam from being able to, to do this, uh, we, uh, we have so many ideas and it feels like if we were talking yeah. about them with other people, we might be able Timothy to impress. I've been so... asking about the cloning machine, so maybe Alpha Papa got one. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm sorry for cutting the conversation a little short, but we will have to get started with the next talk. So uh, thank you so much, Carl, for taking the time first to send a recording to us for answering questions now and also for being a volunteer for Maxcom. Thank you so much for all of those three things. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, we will probably see you next year. I am, I am now definitely set on expecting a Carl Voigt talk every year. And you will have to top it <laughs> next year. I'm not sure what you will find to make the end funny, but you have set the bar quite high and you need to go even higher this time. <laughs> next time without the later Jose at all. <laughs> as long as you don't show up, you know, put more clothes, not fewer <laughs> garments, please. <laughs> all right, Carl? we'll have to get started with the next one. So 
thank you so much, Carl. Uh, Mao, I'm sorry, we need to get moving to the next talk. Uh, I'll be closing the BBB room and we'll start with the next talk at the top of the minute in 30 seconds. Bye bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. All right, we are not live anymore. Thank you so much, Carl. Uh, I'll have to get going. We need to uh, make sure everything works now. Sure. Bye. Bye bye.